Welcome back, everyone. Some smartphone users will soon have a new feature on their mobile devices thanks to a major policy change. Ariana Bennett joins us now with more. Ari, we're talking about radio on our phones, aren't we? Yeah, Wendy, that's right. And not from an app like Pandora or Spotify. This is free radio just like you get in your car. Now, the technology actually already exists in most Android phones, but AT&T has agreed to activate the chip that will allow users to start getting a radio signal. It's a matter of public service. It's great because people don't have to use up their data plans to listen to the radio anymore. Now, if you have a recent model of an Android phone, you already have the FM receiver chip. And if AT&T is your carrier, they'll be activating the chip in all 2016 models. AT&T is the second major carrier to do this following Sprint's decision just a few years ago. Our radio professionals tell us this is big news for their industry, but it also has major safety implications. People can get alerts through the FM receiver without having a data connection. Times of emergency, if there's a fire, breaking news, they'll be able to listen to the radio stations and get really important information that they wouldn't have had access to on their phone prior to this. Now, so far, the service is only available through Sprint and AT&T and only on Android phones. But the broadcast industry is pushing to make it available through other carriers and other types of devices like iPhones. Covering the story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News.